everyone welcome back to the another video of Minas Academy so guys in our previous video we have seen the buoyancy the force of buoyancy Archimedes principle and the principle of rotation so basically if you haven't watched my previous video please click here on the top right corner to get the more details about it and guys over here in our today's topic we are going to learn about the metacenter what is nothing but the metacentric height and and the facts which are associated with this particular metacentric height so guys welcome back to the another video of engineers academy myself narendra and you are watching the another video of engineers academy youtube channel basically so over here on my your educational youtube channel i do post videos regarding automobile engineering material science regarding the different topics in mechanical engineering such as the refrigerations and uh, castings and everything so guys if you are new to my educational channel please do subscribe and guys please press the bell icon so whenever i upload a new video you will get instant notification so let's begin with our today's topic that is nothing but the metacenter and metacentric height suppose i am having a body the body floats on the water such that the this particular body which, which is said to be in a perfect equilibrium condition it means the center of the buoyancy and the center of the gravity lies in a straight line so in this particular situation the body is said to be in a perfect equilibrium condition suppose a ship is there and if you ever notice like the ship is always oscillate into the sea so that is mainly due to the force of the wind or as the force the bottom force from the waves basically so this uh, this forms a particular couple and like the ship always starts oscillating there will be some kind of the angular displacement which occurs in that particular ship so the point at which this particular angular displacement occurs so this particular point can be called as the metacenter so this particular point can be denoted as the m and this particular point can be called as the metacenter suppose a body is a floating uh, in a liquid basically and uh, there is a small kind of the angular displacement is given to that particular body initially that particular the force of the buoyancy and the center of the gravity initially the line of the action of the force of the buoyancy and the center of the gravity will be in a particular straight line but when there is an angular displacement given after that this particular force of the buoyancy the line of the action of the force of the buoyancy either it will shift on the right side or on the left side so due to that you know the couple gets introduced into the system and due to that the oscillatory oscillatory motion will get formed the body will starts oscillating there will be the angular displacement will be there and guys basically when this particular center of the buoyancy shifts let's say it is it gets shifted towards the right hand side this particular center of the buoyancy meets to the center of the gravity at that particular point can be called as the metacenter this particular point can be called as the point at which the body starts oscillating such as in case of simple harmonic motion the point at which the body starts oscillating so this particular point can be denoted by m and it is called as the metacenter the distance between the center of the gravity and the metacenter can be called as the metacentric height and this is the term which is used to design the ships passenger ships basically such as more will be the metacentric height the more will be stability against overhauling in case of the passenger ships basically so this is the uh, important point like that determines the stability of a ship basically and that prevents that particular ship from sinking so basically there are three stages of this particular metacenter will uh, lie on basically uh, it will be on the above the center of the gravity that is nothing but the stable equilibrium condition when this particular metacenter uh, shifts below the center of the gravity then that is nothing but the unstable equilibrium condition and when this particular metacenter is there on the center of the gravity that is nothing but the neutral equilibrium condition so guys over here these three equilibrium condition gets formed due to the due to the shifting of this particular metacenter so let's say the first equilibrium condition that is nothing but the stable equilibrium condition in case of the stable equilibrium condition this particular metacenter will be above the center of the gravity it means there will be the positive couple gets formed basically the force of the buoyancy will get shifted towards the right hand side and this particular 
a weight will be there which always acts so that's why the weight and the force upward force of the buoyancy it will the, there will be the restoring couple gets formed due to that and due to that like due to that force of the buoyancy the body you know the body gets shifted towards its original position so this prevents the ships from sinking so this is nothing but the uh, like the stable equilibrium condition when this particular meta center is above the above the center of the gravity in the second case that is nothing but the meta center is below the center of the gravity that is nothing but the unstable equilibrium condition so over here in this case the force of the buoyancy will act the weight will be act and there will be the overturning couple gets formed over here and due to that overturning couple the like the body will get sink into the fluid basically so this is the reason you know in case of the unstable equilibrium condition the chances of sinking will be more in the case of third scenario that is nothing but the neutral equilibrium condition over here in that, that case like the center of the gravity and the meta center will get coincide with each other like this particular meta center will be there on the center of the gravity so that like the force of the action of the uh, buoyancy force and the weight of the body will be like they will be in a straight line okay that will be the line will be the collinear so in that particular scenario like there will be no further displacement will be there there will be no like the oscillations will be there so these are nothing but the three categories three types of this particular meta center will lie on so guys this particular metacentric height plays a very much important key role while deciding this particular while designing the passenger ship so the more will be the metacentric height the more will be the stability to the floating body which floats on the particular uh, which floats on the what uh, which floats on the fluid basically so guys i hope you like my video if you having any doubts any queries please do comment below and guys please do subscribe to my education channel engineers academy guys thank you so much guys for watching this video